Hey guys, make sure you stay until the end. One common mistake can end up in thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain why. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes. It could be almost any Mercedes except electric vehicles of course, but it might apply to them as well. If you want to know which battery terminal you're supposed to disconnect first and which one you're supposed to connect first, stay with us, we'll explain about that. If you make one common mistake, you can burn modules, computers, how we know about that. Back in the day, we burned a computer on a Mercedes that cost us $2,000, guys. So, we'll explain how to do that the proper way so you avoid mistakes like that. Make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix engines, transmissions, bodywork, engine codes, transmission codes, fuses, relays. Why we do all that guys? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, all we need in return. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. We guys have more than 15,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channel that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs if you need to buy two parts for your car at a really good price and quick shipping as well we'll put the link in the description of the video uh, below for your convenience please check it out so which battery terminal you're supposed to disconnect and reconnect first on your mercedes if you do it the wrong way guys what can happen it did happen to us and to our friends in the past one of them we burned the abs module ABS control module and traction control module, which was quite expensive. Another one, the engine computer burned. As a result, that was a $2,000 engine computer, guys. Because the car was pretty new, there was practically almost no second-hand programming, things like that, end up being quite expensive. Now, we do all that stuff ourselves, and we can save money, but most people cannot program a computer. So, you need to know which battery terminal to disconnect, reconnect first, so you don't damage the electronics and your car as well. So, let's continue now. So guys, what you need to do, this is the battery sensor here, careful not to break it, usually it's on the negative terminal. Negative is the one with the minus, blue, red usually, and the plus is the positive. The minus sometimes could be a black one as well. 10 millimeter, okay, we're going to get a 10 millimeter, uh, okay, it's, let me see, I need to get a little bit smaller, this one is, okay, hope it's working. That socket is a little bit uh, stretched out, but right here, we're going to disconnect the negative first. Now, the negative terminal is about to come out. Careful guys, here, not to damage things, especially if you're getting your battery out. You need to have a person holding in place, otherwise, okay, you can uh, severely, guys, okay, damage things here, and that could be expensive. The second terminal you need to remove, okay, is the positive terminal. The same thing, okay. Positive terminal coming out and you go ahead and disconnect it. Now we're ready to continue. So when you connect the battery terminals guys, make sure that the, uh, first the battery is uh, mounted, not movable, because you can actually, actually, if it moves, you can touch it to the body and you can burn modules that way too. You get the positive terminal and that will be the first one to connect, make sure it's good. Do not hit them with hammers or anything like that because that can damage first the terminal, second the battery that you just installed, maybe brand new battery. So we're going to go ahead. Okay, get it tight. Now the negative one here. There is guys, also uh, most of the times you have the battery sensor on it as well. So very careful, don't push on the battery sensor, push on the terminal itself. We're going to go ahead, get that one tight here as well okay and uh, guys something important if you don't want to have corrosion oxidation you can use a battery uh, terminal treatment kit you spray them and if you live in a wet climate or we have snow humidity rain it's going to protect uh, the terminals against oxidation but uh, that's the way you connect it now 
So that's how you guys connect and disconnect battery terminals on Mercedes. Very important if you have Mercedes vehicles, guys, check out our YouTube channels. We have more than, more than 15,000 free repair videos that will teach you how to do things. In addition, we'll be making videos on almost uh, every Mercedes about fuses and relays. So if you need to find a fuel pump fuse, anything like that, all we have to do, check out our videos, watch for a minute or two, and you're back on the road, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.